Hear that? They're coming. Who are they? Security administration. Probably thanks to that orb. Security? Sounds like we're gonna have trouble. Sounds like target practice to me. Sounds pleasant. Okay, they're coming. Remember, don't drop between shots. Keep steady, point, squeeze. A couple shots should drop them. But be careful, the same goes for you. If you get overwhelmed, run like hell and get some cover. Use your lenses to open the door. Well, well. I didn't think you'd be dumb enough to knock on my front door. Hello, huh? This confirms it. Subjects, stand up. I don't know how you obtained this, but I will find out. What vexes me more is whatever you thought you were going to accomplish with it. Do... Do you even know what this is? Don't say anything. Well, I hope she's not the brains of this operation. Do you... You just lost. Whatever. As terrorists... What? You can't... You both are outside the purview of vestige due process. We'll sort this all out soon enough. My way. Transport them to Terminal Mesa Sub 5. Hold still while I glance you for contraband. This one has lenses, but I'm not getting an ident. Definite data traffic, though. I'm beyond our decryption. David, the auto labor. Yes, sweetie. 
Do you want me to stay awake and keep you company? No, honey. You can sleep if you're tired. Nope. I'll stay up. You must be bored. <laughs> you got me. Life's pretty boring when you're asleep. I bet you're totally bored when I'm at school. I don't know what to do with myself. Hi, Alton. Yeah, we're on our way. Yeah, she's with me. I think she's happy I got her out of PE. Yeah. yeah, of course. We're just a few stops away. Yep, yeah, you too. Alright, see you soon. Who was that? You remember Mr. Templeton? Alton? Is he the man who always looks sad? <laughs> yep. He worked with your mommy. Remember he played zoo animals with me? I remember, sweetie. Most human I've ever seen the man. Normally he's a robot. He can try to play with the pig. Pigs aren't farms, not in zoos. How come we're going to see him? Daddy, what do pigs eat? Good question. Slop, I think. Did you turn in your unicorn project? Teacher says unicorns aren't real animals, but she still liked it. Did you get an A? We don't get A's. I got a satisfactory. I would have gotten a very good if I wrote about regular horses. Why would you do that? I know. Unicorns are way prettier. And they're magic. Do you have any homework tonight? Probably not. Probably not, or definitely not. I maybe have some math, but I probably don't have to do it. Is that what Miss Franklin would tell me if I called her? No. What kind of math are we talking here, Einstein? Is it differential equations, imaginary numbers, long division? No, Daddy. <laughs> I just have times a bunch of stuff. Oh, math homework. I probably hate it as much as she does. Did you eat what I packed for you today? Yeah. Really? No trades? No junk food? Not junk food. Good food. Okay, okay. I ate some cupcakes with sprinkles. Cupcakes? Plural? What did you trade? I had like eight extra super gaijin battle cards, so I gave one of those. Well, it looks like you got your mom's negotiating skills. But we talked about junk food. It won't ruin my dinner. I still have an appetite. Alton, he sent me this note and I can't get it out of my head. David, meet me at 4 o'clock p.m. Union Station Cafe. I have important information about Marion. Please bring Ali. Approaching Union Station. Union Station is the final stop on this line. Daddy! Are we meeting him down here? No, sweetie. We'll get going in a second. Could look at this map, or just wing it. Point where we are. We're here by the big star, and we have to go all the way up here. See that fork? That's where we're going. Is there ice cream at the restaurant? Probably, but it wouldn't fit inside a girl who's already full of cupcakes. Yes, it would. Let's go. Only two more weeks. I'm going to be Princess Ophelia, because she's purple and she has zombie minions. 
Are you going to watch me play, Daddy? Wouldn't miss it. You can help me find the gold chests again. I don't know how much of a help I was last time. It's okay. I still like it. Uh, slow down, sweetie. Let the old man catch up. Let me do the pass. Okay, put the barcode up to the... I know. We're committed to making your life simpler, easier, safer. We are this making the future the possible, one innovation at a time. We are Vestige, and we care. We're Vestige, and we care. Is that where Mommy worked? Yes, sweetie, but please don't repeat that. Why? Daddy's heard it one too many times. Oh, oh, can we get ice cream? Please, 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 please. If we go visit Alton with no more distractions, then we can get ice cream after. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get to the restaurant. I've been here a thousand times, but I've never been to the cafe. Who goes to a cafe in a train station? Alton, I guess. Weird guy. David, thanks for coming. Ali, so good to see you again. Thanks for bringing your dad to see me. By the way, how is your aunt eater? Sui's great. He eats so many ants every day. He's getting fat. And the zebra. You were telling me your zebra was having bad dreams? <laughs> Abraham, he's way better. He was dreaming of mean lions a lot, but I taught him a trick. You just name all the candy bars you can think of before you go to bed, and you'll fall asleep. Works for me. Please, have a seat. Can I go play? Sure, but stay close, sweetie. Stay where I can see you. Okay. Alton looks like Alton. Older, somehow. It's only been six months, but he's aged. He's probably thinking the same thing about me. So, nice to see you again. Pretty surprised you called, actually. Yeah. I can't remember the last time we saw It was a funeral, David, you remember. Listen, I'm very glad you're here. You said you wanted to talk about Marion. Why now? The thing we were working on together. There have been some new developments. Okay. The work we were doing was unique, groundbreaking. But as with all good work, it raised questions. Can you be more specific? I really can't, not here, but the reason we're talking now is that, well, things are starting to shift. Uh, nothing to be alarmed about, but... Things are starting to shift? What things? Shift how? The work is big, very big, and when something is this big, people are likely to get nervous. You're a good guy, a family man. You're someone who seems trustworthy. Let's get to the point, Alton. I'm not saying this is happening for sure. But people may feel Marion trusted you too much, told you things. What people? Who are you talking about? Vestige. Always Vestige. Anyway, you're Vestige. Why should I trust you? Because I was her partner, David. I spent more time with her than anyone. Yeah, I may have mentioned that to her once or twice. <laughs> I imagine you did. When she was there, we took care of each other, kept each other from the negative parts of the job. And she was so dedicated to the work, such a bright light. Vestige without her is... 
Well, it's, it's a lot harder. It's like that everywhere. Listen, you have no reason to distrust me, David. I'm on your side, or we wouldn't be sitting here. Listen, I don't know anything. I know, David. Mary would never have told you. But it doesn't matter. The most paranoid people are the ones with the most to lose. You can't tell me anything? What were you working on? Marion never said a thing, she just... All I ever heard was that they were closing your lab, and then... Yeah, they were going to change things up. Maybe even move us off the project. Okay, I know you have to be careful with clearances or whatever, but this is all pretty vague. You mentioned you had important information. Okay, but things... Things weren't what they seemed with her, or with the accident. Marion was not exactly who you thought she was, what you thought she was. And not everything happened the way you were told. Alton, she died in an accident. It was an accident. You were there when they told me. Accidents that aren't accidents happen every day, David. What are you saying? Just be straight with me. I don't know for sure. I just... Not here, David. Not here? Not here? You reached out to me. You said you had things to tell me about Marion. Now you... What the hell are you saying? It's okay, David. Please, just... I don't know anything for sure. Please. Here. What's this? This looks like the case Marion had... Is this the case was Marion's? Take it. I want you to keep it safe. Just... What happened to her, Alton? What do you mean by not an accident? Not here, David. Look, we can talk later somewhere else. Take Arlie, keep her close, and go back the way you came. Do everything you would normally do leaving, and take Marion's case with you. I don't understand. You're making me nervous. No, no need to be nervous. I'm being overly cautious. It's my job we're talking about, so I'm being extra careful. You understand. I'll meet up with you later. There's something I have to take care of now. Take Ali and head home. Act casual. Very sorry to cut this short. I'll be in touch. Where's Mr. Alton going? He has another meeting and he's late. But he told me to tell you to take good care of Sully. Let's go, sweetie. So what's in the case? I don't know. Probably an ice cream cone. No way! Eh, you got me. But do you remember where you saw the ice cream place here earlier? Yeah? I bet they have your favorite flavor. Strawberry? I hope so, I hope so, I hope so! And I bet they have rainbow unicorn sprinkles. <gasps> rainbow unicorn sprinkles, they're the best! You will think they have them? They better, or I might just have to show a monster face. Monster face isn't that scary, Daddy. Says you. It works wonders on ice cream vendors. We'll see. Two strawberry cones, please. With rainbow unicorn sprinkles. You heard the princess. <sighs> what the hell is taking Alton so long? No call or anything. What's in the case, Daddy? I don't know, sweetie. You should open it. I should, huh? Alton must know how to get this open. Looks like it's password protected. Or, I wonder, Marion could have kept it somewhere. Computer's been dead since that night. Why do I even keep this? This is the code. 
I almost don't want to look. There's contact lenses in here, and it says, wear me. Oh, wow. It's in my eyes. What is? Everything. What do you mean? It's crazy. I can see all kinds of hidden stuff. They're all over the house. I want to try. Sorry, honey. I, I don't know if it's safe. I don't even know what this is. Let me look around a little. This is just so unreal. I want one. Remember Siberia? What does that mean? Can't be it. There's got to be more. Charlie? 
Oh my god, thank you. Shit, thank you so much. That thing was crazy. <laughs> my pleasure. We can't let the machines win now, can we? So, are you Vestige? No, I'm... I'm David. But you're linked up to them. You got a pair of their lenses? Yeah, I guess I do. I... I'm not sure what's going on. Hmm. <laughs> Well, I'm Garrett. Looks like they got us on lockdown. What is this place? Are you kidding me? I honestly don't know where I am. I just woke up here. Oh, yeah. Well, I've had more of those nights than I can count. I normally wake up with the wrong woman, but that's me, brother. So, where are we? You really don't know. You're wearing one of their doohickeys. <laughs> it looks like in your infinite drunken wisdom, you got yourself into the vestige maintenance tunnels. Really? Well, the thing is, they got the rails locked down. Doors, too. I can't imagine they'll keep this place shut down for good, but you never know. We're pretty far out. Did you see a little girl in here? My daughter, I, I... I can't find her. Holy shit. Parent of the year here. No, it's not like that. I, I fell pretty hard. And when I woke up, she was gone. You haven't seen her? You're the only person I've seen for hours. They started clamping down and nothing's getting out until they change their minds. So, um, listen, huh? Those lenses you got, what can you see? I've been stuck at this door for a while. Well, let's see. Well, ain't you a handy one? More of these things. Good thing is, they ain't too bright. If they can't see you, they can't shock you. What do I do? Don't get seen. Hey, they're on that vestige network, same as those lenses. Maybe you got options I can't see. Get this open, and I'll be out of your hair. Your eyes turning out to be pretty useful. What are you doing here? <laughs> Freelance acquisitions. Oh. 
Anyway, I can't see why a drunk loses his daughter would be on some high horse. It's tough out here. I didn't lose her. I'm... I'm not judging. Looks like I need higher clearance. Not sure how that's gonna happen. Damn, they got the firewalls too. I'll have to find a more traditional way out. <laughs> 